Hey guys, what's going on? We are playing The Novelist. Uh, also, just in regards to other series, this is going to be a quicker game playthrough. But tomorrow, since we're almost done with Heavy Rain, I was going to post an episode of Heavy Rain today. But I figured, you know what? Let's do an extra long episode tomorrow, Saturday. It'll be so much better um, since we're almost at the end of that game. So hopefully we can just do, you know, right to the end. That would be great. And then also Sims Hunger Games tomorrow, as well as GTA probably. And I would assume The Walking Dead. You know, it's a Saturday and Sunday. I always upload a lot on those days. You guys know that. So, yeah. Let's start with the novelist tonight, and then we'll have the video marathon tomorrow with all the other series. So, this is... I'm going to do a new game. I had to do a tutorial. I want to see, you know, better how to play the game so I wasn't, like, herp derping all over. Uh, we are going to do story mode. Um, instead of stealth, because I'm not stealthy, I'm way too distracted all the time. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> would you like to play a brief tutorial? I am going to play the brief tutorial. Um, it does show some components of the story that I, were just missed when I tried to start a new game. So I want to make sure you guys see everything. This is uh, a story-based game that is about family. So I've heard it's pretty interesting. And let's check this out. It's on Steam if you want to purchase it. I don't remember what the price was. Either $20 or $15? Maybe $10? I don't know. I just... I have no idea. It was like 4 a.m. when I bought it. All right, cool. It's a nice house. This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. Note on the table. All right, and then you're kind of like, I don't know what you are, but you're like this little shadow ghost figure. Uh, I don't know if you're actually specifically something. Could you imagine waking up and this is your living room? You got like a sweet forest here and then a... I'm not sure if this is an ocean or a big lake, but wow. Wow. I would poop my pants every morning. I would. <laughs> Let's go read the note. Dang it. All right, here we go. Read. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have you booked through August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared, and our cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town, and if you'd like to eat dinner out there, there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Avenue just off Fairview. If you have any questions or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call. All right, Pete Fuller. Pete Fuller, your mother's a whore. <laughs> that was unnecessary, Kelly. Stop. I'm not going to talk to myself in third person. I don't know why I just did that. I did not do that ever. And then, um, if you were to do the stealth mode, basically what you do is you travel by lights. So it's this kind of whole scheme, which isn't really too bad. Um, we have to go to the office upstairs. I believe it's over here. Office! I don't know why I'm traveling by lights. I really don't need to. Six days later. Oh, I love story-based games. We'll be back games. in a little bit. It's like reading, okay. but it's not reading. It's like an interactive movie book. I don't know. Your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome, and it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one character, you can uncover compromises that will help the family. So, basically... Alright. Writer's block. After a week at... Oh no, that fades way too fast. <laughs> I do not know what it was saying. Um, that was weird. I did that like every time I played the tutorial. Um, so this is a game where you do have to make choices, so I'm assuming you could play it differently a few times. What is this? Oh, I thought it was some weird guitar, but it's fishing poles. Alright. I gotcha. Well, so let's go to the office. Let's read Dan's journal. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. 
Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. Ooh, a drink, yeah. Gets wasted. <laughs> Alright, now that you know what's troubling him, you should learn... You should search the... Are those... Oh, I thought these were ping pong balls. I wish we could read. I just want to creep through everyone's shit. Every time you're playing a game, like, I'm gone home... Uh, what's another one? I, I can't think of any right now. Uh, but where you're searching someone's house, I just want to go through all their stuff. You know, where are all their weird sex objects? Where are their diaries? Let's read it all. Alright. <laughs> Where's their underwear drawer? <laughs> underwear can tell you a lot about a person. When you look at a character, you can press space to see what they're thinking about. If this doesn't work... The cloud around Dad's... Dad's... <laughs> oh no. The cloud... <laughs> no, Dan, don't die. The cloud around Dan's head indicates that he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories. Alright, cool. Alright. So, now we're exploring his memories. We have to find where those memories are. Here's one right here. So it looks like him and his wife. That face! Do you think coming here will help? It has to. It has to. So usually just really quick um, things like this. This is still the tutorial, so I know what happened. <laughs> um, but coming up, I, I won't know too much. All right, so Dan, we're back. Find time for Tommy. Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for clues, discover what's on their minds, and explore their memories. If you learn what all of the characters want, you can earn additional. All right. Meow. I think we can. St he still has memories we can look at. So here he is. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? Alright, so we found all of his memories. Great. Let's go check out um, Linda and Tom Tommy's memories. That view! I still can't get over it! I really would- I would love to live on the ocean or a lake. Well, I guess I live on a pond right now, but it's- it's small. I mean something huge. Like when we stayed in Hawaii, we were hey, on the ocean. Hey, watch this! Amazing. Having fun? Just one night. That's her thoughts. Oh. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, little boy? Oh. Oh, well, I'm in his memories now, so... Uh, might as well. We'll have to find out. Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. Alright, so he's asking about kids. Here we go. Oh, It's him and his dad. He looks really sad. You know, normally when kids draw pictures, there's big smiles. I wonder if that's something to be concerned about. 
Because, yeah, whenever I drew pictures, I always put smiles. Or if they were dead, then they had a dead face. But, you know, it was usually cheery. All right. Maybe we can play later. All right, let's check out Z Mama. There is some mom. Hey, mommy. Oh. Hey, honey. Holy crap, he scared me. <laughs> like, my heart skipped a beat. Like, what is that? <laughs> hey, girl. Just kidding. All right, let's see her memories. Bow, 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 bow. What is this? Is this a little library? That's pretty sweet. Oh, it's the office. Okay. Okay, no big deal there. Alright, I don't see her. Hello? Hello? Taking a poop? No, you are not. There she is. Hey, girl, what you thinking? Thinking about me? I think <laughs> we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it, I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. <gasps> All right. Oh, memory. I promise. Me too. Me too. Me too. So it looks like they're having maritable, maritable what? Marital problems, what? <laughs> Maritable. I did not mean that. That was literally a slip of the tongue. No, I don't want to be in your memories. I just want to know what you're thinking. So wrapped up in his book. Ooh. See, look, this picture of the kid, little boy is smiling. But dad's still not smiling. He just, he's got his big mustache. Phew. Gonna win this time. All right. I wish is that note on the door still there? Oh, there's a note here. Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and Let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good. Those are still the beats. Those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted. Dan. All right. Oh, you've discovered enough about this chapter, our character, to find out how they want to resolve um, this chapter. All right. I still need to read things. Pick up more canvases, art store anywhere in town, galleries or studios. What are you doing? Just us all summer? Yeah, that would be kind of eh, boring. Depending. I mean, his parents seem pretty <laughs> wrapped up in work. Daddy said he'd be my buddy here. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, if you're a little kid, you want to play all the time. If you don't have other kids. I mean, if I was <laughs> if I was this little boy, I'd be like, yo, dad, mom, we need to go to the ocean. We need to go fishing. Look at these fishing rods. Let's do this. Mom's still, uh, yeah, she's still here. So much time to paint. Yeah, I guess you have all summer. Let's see what the dad is doing. He's still here. Get to work, you. Where's my notebook? I know I had something good. All right, so let's find his notebook. Uh, ooh, another letter. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, 
I hope this reaches you before you leave for the summer. I know we went over this in my office, but I think Tommy is a wonderful child, and I'll feel better putting my recommendation in writing. Children develop at different speeds, and Tommy shows no signs of a serious learning disorder. So the most important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercises each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encouragement when he succeeds, as self-confidence is critical at this age. If he fails to make progress with the exercises I've included, you may want to take him to the local pediatrician for further recommendations. I hope this is of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Mrs. McMillan. All right, so it looks like Tommy's a little slow. Bob, <gasps> how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today, and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. All right. Dun -dun 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 Where's that notebook? I think it was in his office. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. Every time the rocket noises scare me to death. I think there's like an explosion going on. What are you doing, little boy? Tommy, damn you. Me and Daddy can play Race and Roger. All right, so, okay. See? There's Race and Roger. So it looks like we have to choose between the notebook, Race and Roger, and let's see what the mother wants. I think, you know, in this case, I think family is going to be most important. I think they need to concentrate on their son. Um, yeah, there's the notebook. Hmm. What do you need? We could have a bottle of wine and hang out like we used to. Yeah, see that? Uh, so, hmm. I, she's going to have to sacrifice her alcoholic ways. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That would be fun. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty down to be like, yeah, get drunk. But then the little boy still has no one. So we got to go with the kid on this one. Oh my God. That is so sad. Yeah, we definitely need to choose the little boy on this one. Select and race and Roger will choose Tommy's resolution for this chapter. Dan and Linda will be disappointed. However, however, if you've discovered Dan or Linda's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. All right, cool. I think we need to do this one. <sighs> Definitely think we need to do this one. I mean, I think it's important for the overall family atmosphere. The Kaplans are asleep. Explore the house for clues about its past, then whisper your decision to Dan. So I have done a lot of exploring so far. We haven't been in the kitchen. By learning the desires of more than one character, you learn, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Okay, so this is where we're going to find the compromise. You know, uh, well, I know work is really important. I think, like, this family is struggling, so I think we have to compromise with the mother and do the bottle of wine. I mean... I know when I've been happier, I find work to be a lot easier, and I think Mr. or Dan will be a lot easier, so I think we we'll want to choose this. So we're going to choose her bottle of wine. Okay, we did choose it. Yeah, there's the notebook. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 15th, 1948, Mr. Lowerly Lower, little, 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 Mr. Lowery finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect the house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I was cleaning out old files and this house kept coming up. It's changed owners seven times in the last 13 years. 
I began digging, and not a single one of the sales was financially motivated. People just seem to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else, which doesn't add up in my mind. The view is striking. The isolation and privacy alone make it a great property. The remoteness can't be an issue. Certainly no one who can afford this kind of home needs to work for money. It's a mystery, but that's why I'm here. Huh. Is the house haunted? Am I the... Wait, are we the ghost? <gasps> we're like... See, we're like in their minds. We're possessing lights. It's... It's possible. Alright, I'm scared. I'm scared. I am so scared of this room. I'm leaving. When me and my boyfriend, we rented a house that was like in the middle of the wilderness, in a forest, and it had big windows like this, and at night I would like run through the house because I was scared that there would be a ghost or a person creeping. Other kids here. High five. Oh, I was going to high five him. But I can't land on him. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, this moved. It moved. All right. Checkers. Chinese checkers. All right, let's go here. Time together. Could he tell? Why is she, why is she so <gasps> what the heck? Dan could stop thinking about how important it was to start the summer off on a good foot with Tommy. Who was his ecstatic when Dan knocked off early and set up a game of Race and Roger on the coffee table. They laughed and played for two hours, and Dan made sure to let Tommy win most of the time. It was a happy start to Tommy's summer. The next night, Linda decided to have the bottle of wine herself after giving up hope that Dan would take a night off for them to catch up. She was a glass and a half into the bottle when he surprised her by coming down to help her finish it, and though they didn't get a whole night together, it was better than another evening apart. Aww, that's cute. I feel, I'm really happy with my decisions there. I think we did good. Dan couldn't get past, couldn't get past his writer's block. He laid awake for three nights trying to think of a way to get out of his jam, but he couldn't come up with one. He had, he had to stay on schedule, so he forced himself to write a scene just to keep moving. He hated each word as he typed it, but he had no choice. Ah, come on. He had been a little happier with, like, you know, spending time with his family. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he writes better when he's sad. The show. Linda got a letter in the... Those don't... In the mail. Linda got a letter in the mail. Maybe that's the letter right there. It doesn't last long. I don't press anything to, like, do that. Alright, hold on. Big news, Barb. I'm putting on a show. Can you believe it? I've already got butterflies. It's been so long. I'm glad it's a small gallery so I can ease my way back into things a bit. And I want to do it right. I'd forgotten how much work goes into things that aren't painting when it's time to put on a gallery. You know I could never stand all the logistical rigmarole. Plus, I have a piece I really want to finish before the show. So much to do. I want to take it seriously and go through the whole process, though, because if the show goes well, who knows? Hope to hear from you, and hope you can come, of course. Yours always, Linda. All right. Your progress is saved automatically. Cool. I hear someone walking around. Where are they? There you are. Gonna let daddy play with the cool car tonight. Even good anymore? Need to talk about it. Alright, let's look at her memories. Oh! Oh, that's cute. I don't know yet, honey. What is it, mommy? What is it, mommy? What is it, mommy? Oh, she doesn't know. Oh, wait. Still need to check out. I always forget to check out the other memories. There you are. I knew we should have eaten something with the wine last night. My head is killing me. It would have been worse if Dan hadn't come down to help me finish it, though. I didn't expect to see him, but he does have a way of surprising people. I wish we'd had a full night together, but maybe we can do that soon. I'm glad we got even a little time to catch up. We only got through the first side of the record, but we talked about the studio and my new painting, which was nice. It's good to know he's at least trying. All right, where's Dan? Oh, we can do the we can do um Tommy.
It's still... That's the same memory, though. Here's the new one. Right down there. Right down there. Cool. Can we go? Right? So it looks like they're planning maybe activities or he's just showing him some things. Wait. What's that? Oh, those are chairs. I thought he was, like, going into a cupboard or something. Alright, we found hmm. everything in his memory. Race and Roger was so fun. I won. Hmm. Alright, look. See this? His pictures are happier now. It all comes together. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now we gotta see Dan's memories, which are gonna be like, I hate my life! Ah! Yep. A lot more scribbled, crunched up papers because we didn't go with him. There he is. <laughs> Maybe if I skip dinner. Work straight through till Monday. Oh, hey there. Oh, wait. No. I'm faster. Oh, hey there. Oh, that's all he's going to say to her. Yep, here's another happy picture. Spent three paragraphs describing the weather. All right, let's check out his memories. Oh. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? I just like to sigh. <sighs> I can't I can't reproduce it, so I'm not gonna try. Alright, I'm maybe racing Roger. Oh no, here he is. Writer's block turned into writer's fog or something like that. I never found my notebook. I guess it's just gone. Did we lose it in the move? Leave it at home? I ended up having Alice find out about Scott and Sarah by overhearing a phone call. That's awful. Having Alice eavesdrop on them completely kills the sympathy I've been trying to build for her. What a junk solution. But I had to get something down and move on. I guess that was it. Hopefully I can come back and fix it later. Alright. So we found all of his memories. Here's something. What is it? Mrs. Kaplan, we're thrilled to be exhibiting your work Thursday. I know this all came together a little last minute, but our secretary is only part-time and she sometimes gets behind. I've sent along some forms and samples for the ad we plan to run in this week's paper. I know it's probably the last thing you want to worry about right now, but what's the point of putting on a show if no one knows about it? Any anyhow, I know this is all a... Wow, I just wanted to... It just looked like it said bitchetic. Bitchthetic, like it combined pathetic and bitch. I don't know. Just, that's what I saw in my head there. I know this is all a bit hectic, but while we plan, why we? <laughs> oh my god! While we might be small, we have a lot of heart, and we're excited about your show, Nicole Adams Westlake Gallery. Sup? No distractions here, just us. I think that ocean would be pretty distracting, at least for me. I'd be like sitting at the window like all the time like, oh my god, this is awesome. Did I just hear a moan? What's going on? Oh. Put it right on my table by my rocket. Where's... Let's see what he's talking about. It... Oh, there's a note here. There's the cars. This note for good for one adventure. Signed, Daddy. Oh, that's really cute. That is really cute. I love adventures. I went on an adventure. What's up? Two days hey, ago. Hey, mommy. Hey, pumpkin. Whoa, family, Hi. family. Oh no, they all just passed each other up. I could pick the one with. with what? What's this? Has it been five years already? I still remember the thought that blindsided me when I saw Tommy for the first time. He's my new creative work. TJ gave me such a look when I told her I was going to cut back on my painting, but she doesn't have any kids, so there's no way she could understand. It's hard to top creating an entire person. 
Maybe she thought Dan told me I had to stay home. <laughs> that would have been a very short conversation. Still, I can't ignore the fact that it's time to figure out what on hold means. What would it look like to go back full time? Do I want to? Hmm. I don't know. Dan could take care of the promo forms on the coffee table. Yo, Dan. Just have to focus on leaving all of that back home. He's coming at us! Hey, watch this! That's cool. It didn't do anything. Gotta move faster. Hey, honey, what you doing? Blasting off. 